Folks, a lot of you who have been watching my uh, cooking videos I've posted in the past know I'm really, really into air frying. In fact, I own uh, three, three air fryers. And I air fry almost every day. I'd say out of a week, typically at least f five times. Sometimes every day of the week. That's how much into air frying I am. However, however, just a few days ago, I had an air frying experience that was beyond incredible. I, did, I cooked maybe the tastiest meal I've ever had in years. And I'm including the really, really great meals I had uh, on my recent cruise. But believe me, this I couldn't believe how tasty this was. Orange chicken or more accurately, orange glazed chicken. In this case, chicken wings. Now, guess what? You could also make orange glazed uh, chicken thighs or from the boneless chicken thighs or something I'm probably going to do in the near future, uh, orange glazed uh, chicken uh, tenders, which I'm going to make from uh, breast meat and cut them into two inch sections. But right now, I love chicken wings, and guess what? We have locally here an incredible deal. I got, uh, uh, like, for example, these uh, 10 wings, which I cut, by the way, into 20 sections. Um, they're, they were uh, th 10 wings, 3.36 pounds, came out to $7.68, so an incredible deal. Now, as I mentioned, uh, I cut them into uh i cut the uh tips off because there's virtually no meat on them and just cut cut them into the two respective sections so 10 wings 20 pieces i'll probably eat 10 tomorrow and put the rest in the refrigerator because i actually do like cold chicken see how they are uh, you know the honey glaze but here's the main thing and we're gonna i'm gonna tomorrow i'm gonna go back to this chicken i get in preparation but you got to be real careful about it's, this is not difficult but you have to be very very careful about how you prepare this chicken because you want just the right texture you want a nice crunchiness uh, uh, on uh, uh, that acts as like a shell over the uh, uh, chicken wings and then it'll be, that'll all be covered by a wonderful orange glaze that that just a, it just the flavors are just incredible. You've got sweetness ver, uh, working against uh, the spiciness of minced uh, a ginger and uh, a, a crushed red chili flakes. It, it just it just works so perfectly. I couldn't believe how delicious it was. But the main thing here is that when you uh, after you're done cutting the chicken wings, you gotta. You got to just take towels and really pat them down good. The secret to uh, to crunchy chicken, or one of the secrets anyway, is you got to make sure your chicken is absolutely dry. Not even you don't even want them moist. You want it absolutely dry. So I was very careful. I patted these uh, chicken wings down. I've got them on two plates now. Now I'm going to put them overnight in the refrigerator. Uh, because guess what? The refrigerator, the interior refrigerator, has very, very low humidity. So hopefully that'll suck whatever other moisture's in there. But guess what? Tomorrow, I'm still not taking any chances. I'm going to pat them down again. And then tomorrow, we're going to make, cook up everything. And believe me, if you just take the proper precautions, you are going to have the most incredible taste experience you've had in years. I'm just telling you absolutely delicious so i'll see you guys tomorrow it's the next day and these wings are dry 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 how do i know because actually last night after i put them in a refrigerator yesterday i took them out again i put uh, towels underneath i patted them dry all over again and this morning i repeated the same process and just now i patted them down just again again very very this is probably the most important step in the process it's 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 it means the difference between having crispy chicken or soggy chicken and you definitely don't want the latter so what i'm going to do now 
is I'm going to marinate these ch uh, chicken wings for about half an hour. All right, so all I got to do here for the marinade, just toss my very dry wings now. Remember, that's important into the mixing bowl. And then to that, I'm going to show you. I'm going to add very simple mixture, very easy. But you know, you need to do this to give some some seasoning inside of the chicken itself. So, so you got to uh, you definitely have to do a little bit, just a half hour of marinating. Here we go. And to that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of sea salt, about a quarter spoon, teaspoon of crushed black pepper. I'll mix it around a little bit, get it distributed. There we go. This is going to start working its magic and just a just as soon as I add in two, two tablespoons of olive oil. One, and spoon number two. And then you got to mix it up, give it a nice mixing. There we go. Make sure it's all mixed up, all the surfaces are covered with the oil, the seasoning. Okay, and then what you do is you let this sit for half an hour to marinate. Hmm. I can actually, you know, I can actually smell the marinating. All right. Anyway, while it's marinating there for half an hour, I'm going to put together the all important batter. And now to make my orange zest, all you do is just take a regular cheese grater and on the fine bin here, you just zest the oranges. I got two of them. That's enough for half a cup. I'm going to need half a cup of orange juice later on for the glaze. Now the great thing about this is when I first did this I thought oh okay it's just going to be garnished. It'll, it'll kind of look nice on the chicken. No, no. It makes the chicken look nice. The, the chicken wings look nice but even more important it kicks up that orange the intensity of the orange flavor. It's absolutely incredible. So I'm going to finish up zesting here and when I'm done Zesting these two oranges, I'm going to uh, make my orange juice. All right, so as you can see, I've zested the two oranges. There's plenty of zest there for my uh, chicken wings. And now I'm going to take the two, uh, still got some time left before it's fully marinated, so I'm going to take the uh, two oranges and squeeze off half a cup of orange juice that's going to be used in the glaze. I mean, that's how you get that orange flavor, real strong orange flavor in a glaze. Okay, so the uh, the, the chicken wings have been marinating. Mmm, I like the smell there. And now all you got to do is uh, roll them in the batter. So just very simple. Make sure every 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 part of it is covered with that batter. That's important. And just the uh, just uh, wash, wince, and repeat for the rest of them. And I'll be back to show you the second most important thing about this chicken. The first most important thing is making sure the chicken wings are dry. The second most important thing, as I'll show you, is very, very carefully coating them with olive oil. So we'll be back for that in just a moment. All right, so now I have my air fryer out and in battle ready position. It's time to very, very, very carefully oil up these uh, chicken wings with olive oil. Now, you can, uh, there's two ways to do it, is brush them on or spray them on. Uh, if you brush them on, don't use the tip of your brush. Just use the side of it and very gently dab it. But I prefer spray, and it's not really spray, in reality, uh, it's, uh, here, I'll show you what I do. I very, I very, see here? I just, I just drip. I just barely, it's not even a spray. It's, it's, I call it dripping, dripping it on. The main thing is you don't want to, you know, splatter that flour. And then you can just, see, you just rub it on there. It's still translucent. So the flour remains. And you do that. Make sure that all of it 
make sure the entire chicken wing is covered with that olive oil very important so I'm gonna do uh, I've got 20 pieces I'm gonna do 10 at a time so I'm working on my first 10 right now so all of the uh, chicken wings have been very very gently oiled you can see them here they're kind of translucent so I'm gonna stick them in the air fryer and I'm gonna set the temperature for 380 for 20 minutes there we go now at the halfway point I'm gonna flip them over and when in the last five minutes just to give them an extra crispiness I'm gonna increase the temperature to 400 degrees you, you don't have to do it it's something I like to do and in the meantime as I'm waiting on this I'm going to mince up uh, a tablespoon of garlic and also a tablespoon of ginger and I won't show you that but we're not that's gonna sidetrack if you want to find out how to mince uh, garlic or ginger just look it up and by the way it's not the same thing as crushed so we'll get back to you in a little bit the first batch is finished let's take a look oh yeah look at that oh yeah now if you if you it's a little hot but you could definitely I mean this is crunchy it's like a shell on there right now it's like a shell it's like a shell oh my god oh oh okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put these aside and I'm gonna start working on my second batch oil them up and put them in just the same thing I did with the first batch and right after I put them in I'm gonna start working on my glaze all right as my uh, second batch is heating up I'm gonna start working on my glaze so uh, just set it on medium here yeah about medium and then add in my one tablespoon of minced garlic and my tablespoon of minced ginger that gives it a little bit of spice if you want less spicy then do half a the tablespoon so I'm gonna let that uh, I'm gonna let that uh, saute for a couple of minutes and then add in the other ingredients all right so it's almost 10 minutes or about 10 minutes later and it's definitely thicker but it's not there yet you got to have it nice and glazy you know you know you know have you ever done glaze oh yeah you see that that's that's a sign that it's really working itself up now here's the game plan when I hit when it gets nice and thick I turn the heat down to low I roll the chickens wings around in it get all of it all the surfaces covered so it's all coated and uh, that's it about oh, while when it's when it's all coated before I take the chickens out I turn the heat off rub it around a little bit more also very important put that zest on oh oh my god oh see now we're getting thick we're getting there we're getting there all right, it's been sautéing kind of nicely. So to this uh, mixture, I'm going to add half a uh, spoon of crushed red uh, chili pepper. Well, this is actually crushed red pepper like you use on your pizza. That's what I had. Use it with what you got. You know, in the future, if I want, I used this before. It was fine, absolutely fine. So just mix that in there a little bit. It gives it a little color, more spiciness. Remember. The secret to this uh, orange chicken is the sweetness of the glaze versus the spiciness. Okay, that's going nice. Now I'm going to add my orange juice. Remember that? Wait, let me let me mix this up a little better. Get, get it all. Okay, good. So let me add my orange juice. Okay. It's my half cup of orange juice, quarter cup of white vinegar. And to all of that, it's going to give it a nice sweetness, half a cup of brown sugar. Oh, by the way, the uh, second batch is finished. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, uh, here's, here's what's happening now. <laughs> like, 
when you watch this, maybe now, or I did the other day, I'm thinking, what the hell is this? This is nothing but weak soup, you know, thin soup. Don't worry. Don't worry. That water, the liquids there start boiling off, and it's going to leave a wonderful glaze. you got to give it at least 10, maybe 15 minutes. But when, when we, uh, we're at that stage, I'll come back and I'll show you. It's a nice orange glaze. So I'll keep it on medium for now. Get, so this is heating up. Like I say, don't worry, it's going to get nice and thick. All right, so it's almost 10 minutes or about 10 minutes later, and it's definitely thicker, but it's not there yet. you got to have it nice and glazy. You know, you know, you know, have you ever done glaze? Oh, yeah, you see that? That's, that's a sign that it's really working itself up. Now, here's the game plan. When I hit, when it gets nice and thick, I turn the heat down to low. I roll the chicken's wings around in it, get all of it, all the surfaces covered so it's all coated, and uh, that's it. Oh, but while, when, it's, when it's all coated, before I take the chickens out, I turn the heat off, rub it around a little bit more. Also, very important, put that zest on. Oh, oh my God. Oh, see, now we're getting thick. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's nice and thick now, so time to put the chicken. The first thing I'm going to do, put the temperature on low, and then start adding in the chicken. Just both, both batches. Okay. Okay, that's batch number one, and batch number two. Okay, now just roll them around, and that coating is going to stick. You want the coating on every part covering this. And then when it's uh, completely coated, uh, when it's uh, completely covered and there's nothing much left on the bottom, just turn it off. But you want every every bit of this chicken covered. Okay, so most of this glaze has been coated onto the chicken. So what I'm going to do now is turn this off roll it around a little bit more yeah, it's pretty much all all on there it's all coated both sides every side now remember don't forget the zest this is really important so I'm gonna put my first batch of chicken on here and Mm. Oh God! Oh, I can't wait! I can't wait! And then, as I put it on, I'm going to see here. Now it, it it gives it a nice look, but it's more importantly, or just as importantly, it's not just a garnish. It just adds incredible flavor to this. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. Take the rest of this chicken out and garnish it up with the uh, the orange zest. Okay, mission accomplished. Wow, look at that! Look at that! And now we come. If you ever watch my my uh, other cooking videos, we come to my absolute favorite part of the cooking videos: the eating of these orange glaze chicken wings. Let's hope, but. If it's anything like the last time I had it, absolutely incredible. So, a couple of minutes, I'll be out on my porch or my patio, whatever you want to call it, and doing my thing. We're at my favorite part of all cooking videos, the eating of the food. And in this case, from my experience from a few days ago, this is absolutely, should be absolutely incredible. Let's see how it matches up. I used a little more ginger this time. So that's uh, one difference, but let me try it. Oh, oh, it's so 
Oh, good. I think that extra half spoon extra of, of ginger that I put in, it really, oh my God. It, it's a, like I say, it's the sweet versus the spicy. It, it works against each other. And you got a strong orange taste. The zest really helps it. Mmm. And, and you know what's great? It's the texture. The texture, and you got the crunchiness of the skin with the, the uh, I don't know what you call it, the, the, uh, the glaze, the soft glaze over it. Ah, oh, this is so good. Just remember the points I told you. There's two main things to look out for. Make, a, make absolutely sure that that chicken is completely dry. I don't care whether it's wings or you use chicken breast or whatever. You got to make sure it's dry, 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 dry. Got to be fanatic. The other thing is, be real gentle putting that oil on. So, if you follow this and be patient, that uh, what looks like soup, that's going to turn into absolutely incredible glaze. Uh, I'll probably put a recipe down below. I mean, this, at least once a week. At least. You know what? Since there's a sale on these wings, I think we're going to have, I'm going to have wings at least two times in the next four days. Yeah, I can't, I can't resist this. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. Just that orange sweetness versus the spiciness. Now, like I gotta say, if you don't like too spicy, just use half a, a tablespoon of ginger. Mmm. And now, oh, in case you're wondering, I'm not going to eat this entire thing. I'm going to put some of it aside. I like cold chicken. I want to see what it's like when it's cold. So I'm going to have some of these wings tomorrow after they've been in the refrigerator overnight. Should be interesting because I do like cold chicken. Hmm. Now let me eat. See you guys later.